good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about diversity combining techniques in wireless communication in detail we are going to discuss about maximum ratio combining and equal gain combining methods diversity combining techniques the basic principle of diversity combining techniques is it exploits all available signal copies of n suffix r signal each signal copy is multiplied by a complex weight and then added up complex weight is equal to phase correction plus real weight of the amplitude phase correction causes the signal amplitudes to add up otherwise noise is added in incoherently so that the powers add up amplitude weighting two methods are used they are maximum ratio combining method that is mrc it weighs all signal copies by their amplitude the next method is equal gain combining that is egc the signals are not weighted in equal gain combining but undergo a phase correction maximum ratio combining mrc mrc compensates for the phases and weights of the signals from different antenna branches according to their snl that is signal to noise ratio it is an optimum method channel is assumed as slow fading and fast fading the channel is realized as a time invariant filter with the response h suffix n of tau is equal to alpha suffix n delta of tau where alpha suffix n is attenuation diversity n is the branch antenna weight is equal to w suffix mrc that is equal to alpha conjugate n the signals are phase corrected and weighted by the amplitude output snr of the diversity combiner is equal to sum of branch snrs gamma suffix mrc is equal to summation small n is equal to 1 to capital n suffix r is equal to gamma suffix n if the branches are statistically independent the snr distribution in each branch is exponential power density function of gamma is equal to open bracket 1 divided by n suffix r minus 1 factorial into gamma power n suffix r minus 1 divided by gamma bar prefix n suffix r into e power open bracket minus gamma divided by gamma bar gamma bar of mrc is equal to n suffix r gamma bar for n is n suffix r is equal to 1 there is no diversity for n suffix r is equal to 3 diversity is applied maximum ratio combining representation is shown in this diagram advantages of maximum ratio combining method output is produced with an acceptable snr even when none of the individual signals are themselves acceptable this technique gives the best statistical reduction of fading of any known linear diversity combiner accuracy is high it produces best reduction of fading drawbacks of maximum ratio combining method it requires individual receiver and facing circuits for each antenna elements high cost these are the major drawbacks of maximum ratio combining method equal gain combiner it is similar to maximal ratio combiner except that the weighing circuits are omitted in equal gain combiner method the branch weights are all set of unity but 
the signals from each branch are co-phased to provide equal gain combining diversity. Equal gain combiner representation is shown in this diagram. The receiver to exploit the signals that are simultaneously received on each branch. For EGC, the SNR of the combiner output is gamma suffix EGC is equal to open bracket summation n is equal to 1 capital N suffix R square root of gamma suffix N close the bracket the power square divided by capital N suffix R the mean SNR is gamma bar suffix EGC is equal to gamma bar open bracket 1 plus open bracket n suffix r minus 1 close bracket into pi by 4 close bracket for all branches suffer from Rayleigh fading for n suffix r is equal to 1 the equal gain combiner performance is equal to maximum ratio combiner performance for n suffix r is equal to 2 comma 3 the maximum ratio combiner is better than equal gain combiner method. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.